Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for electric vehicle news and updates. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more similar content like this. What do you do if your favorite car model is no longer in production? You simply resurrect it from the dead. Tesla is doing just that with the Roadster. However, the EV manufacturer is doing far more than simply bringing it back, because the super electric car is far better than before. The Roadster is returning as a flying vehicle. Yes, yes, you heard that correctly. The Roadster will take to the air. We demonstrate all of the new features in this video. The new Tesla Roadster has everything the King of Speed has to offer, including the ability to fly. The Tesla Roadster is a one-of-a-kind vehicle for Tesla. The automobile is responsible for the company's success and prosperity. It wasn't just Tesla, either because it was marked a number of firsts for the electric vehicle industry. Check out the first electric automobile to use a lithium ion battery. Check out the first electric automobile with a range of more than 200 miles. At the time, it was the fastest electric automobile on the market. Check. The first battery powered supercar to be mass produced commercially. Examine the time frame in which Tesla worked. The Roadster was a time of rapid design and development because there were four different models despite the fact that the company only produced roughly 2,500 units. The initial iteration, codenamed 1.5, was unveiled in 2008 and was capable of going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds with a top speed of 125 miles per hour. These numbers may not seem important today given that the Model S would easily beat them, but they were nothing to sneeze at back then. Models such as the Roadster 2.5 and 2.5 Sport would be next in line. With each iteration, more power is added. Some of the original Roadsters are still around, and they're becoming rather valuable. Many of them, though, are still roadworthy. A Tesla Roadster is on its way to Mars, as is SpaceX. It was Musk's personal vehicle, the Starman. Musk on the other hand, used it as a test payload on one of SpaceX's rockets. Musk has previously described the next generation as a desert. This is due to the fact that it will not be produced in the same quantities as the Model 3, Model Y, or even the Model S and X. The new Roadster is being marketed as Tesla's genuine halo car, with only 10,000 or so being produced per year. Musk has also stated that the Halo car will most likely be produced at the Fremont factory for those who desire zero-emission vehicles. Tesla has unveiled the next-generation Roadster, which retains the DNA and features that made the previous model so popular. In many respects, the new Roadster is unique. For example, several components of the old Roadster required the assistance of the British Lotus engineering team, while the new one is totally created in-house by Tesla and the company's expertise is reflected in the end product. In addition, unlike the original model, which was powered by an internal combustion engine, this latest iteration has been designed from the bottom up as an electric vehicle, allowing the engineers to optimize every aspect of the vehicle. The new Roadster takes a significant step forward in terms of design, with more curves and aggressive appearance. The automobile has gotten sleeker and more aerodynamic, which helps to extend the vehicle's range, which we'll discuss in a moment. The car's low stance hasn't changed, but the front and back have been revised to give it a more modern appearance. The Roadster is faster than ever before, and it has reclaimed its title as Tesla's quickest vehicle. When it first appears on the highway, it will take over the title of fastest production automobile currently held by the Tesla Model S. How fast, though, is the new Roadster? It moves at a breakneck speed. The new beast can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds and reach 100 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds. It took less time to get to 60 in the previous edition. If you're wondering how Tesla was able to accomplish this, it's thanks to ingenuity. The electric motor with carbon sleeves, the new technology was developed by Tesla's German research and development team. When compared to a regular motor, the new motor has a greater electromagnetic field. These enable the carbon-sleeved electric motor to provide a greater spin per minute, thus benefiting the Roadster. Tesla even implemented several torque-increasing concepts. 
The Model S Plaid variation is already powered by the new carbon sheathed motors. The new Roadster has a top speed of almost 250 miles per hour, though we expect owners to only use dedicated race circuits to drive the cars to that limit. This does, however, imply that the new Roadster is more than twice as quick as the original. If you want even more speed, Tesla offers an option that reduces the time to 60 miles per hour, a significant reduction. It was only a short time after it was unveiled, Elon Musk, the company's CEO, hinted at a version of the Roadster that will outperform the vehicle's already outstanding prototype. Musk's Roadster concept was straight out of a science fiction film, with the CEO outlining a supercar with cold gas thrusters, comparable to a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The Tesla Roadster SpaceX package was an unofficial moniker for this model. Musk claimed that the new Roadster with the SpaceX package would accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 1.1 seconds. After all, a 1.1 second 0 to 60 launch is no laughing matter. Elon Musk has stated that passengers will experience the vehicle as though they were on a tough roller coaster. As a result, Tesla will need to add some serious safety features. Musk even urges those with medical conditions not to go on such high-speed rides. Steve Popovsky ran a simulation of the standard Roadster versus the Roadster with the SpaceX package, and the boost makes a significant impact. As you can see in the video, the beefed-up Roadster swiftly overtakes its rival. The original Roadster broke a world record for driving range, but the new one breaks it in terms of road endurance. This monster can travel 620 kilometers between charges. It easily outperforms the Lucid Air Dream Edition, which holds the current record with a range of 520 miles. Tesla's new 4680 battery, the culmination of years of research and development, has increased the range of its battery while reducing the weight. Using a DC rapid charger, these two variables allow for wider driving ranges and even faster charging periods. It's worth noting that the range was disclosed prior to Tesla's unveiling of the new battery. So, if Musk hadn't set his forecast with the then upcoming battery in mind, the car's range would have been much better. The interior has been modified dramatically. The seats have been retouched, as has the rest of the cabin, to make it more modern and comfortable. By the way, the new Roadster is the first supercar to sit for and not impact its performance, instead of just two like the predecessor could. On top of the glass roof, when you want to drive around in the open air, you can erase the Tesla signature. Tesla's principal designer, Franz Voss Halsenheiser, has provided an update for the development of the Roadster. He claims that Tesla is still hard at work on its flagship supercar, and that the business is learning a lot from its current projects. Like the Plaid platform, for example. He notes that the lessons acquired in designing the Plaid versions have been used to the new Roadster. This is a pretty good indicator. We're working on the Roadster at the moment. I wish we were able to work more quickly, but I also have to add that during the time we've been working on it, we've learned a lot. Plaid is a terrific learning platform, and all of those experiences will, you know, lead to a much better Roadster than if we had launched it right after it appeared. And now for an update. It'll be difficult to believe the Roadster would fly like in the movies, validating Musk's claims that the next generation Roadster will be a flying car. When equipped with the SpaceX package, Van Halhoser described the forthcoming supercar as a flying machine. This indicates that Tesla is serious about developing a car that can travel not only on the ground, but also in the air. Tesla, on the other hand, is taking its time to perfect this technology. While this step is necessary, Van Halhoser acknowledges that the weight may be too much for ambitious consumers who want to soar in their cars. He went on to say, So just keep improving on that. With the SpaceX package, it will be an awesome, exciting flying machine, so stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on our latest uploads. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.